This is the first run of uh, pneumatic testing on the Gilbranson Pianola, circa 1925. Uh, we've had to manufacture <coughs> um, a whole lot of these small gaskets and in addition clean the back of the bellows assembly so that the, the gasket sits there like that. What we've done is to prepare <clears throat> the bottom row for testing. How this has been done, we've got a vacuum supply here. We've sealed off um, these bellows assemblies we've taken off and the input, um, <clears throat> the input to this manifold. And what we're going to do now is <clears throat> selectively test each one of the bellows assemblies. The way the pianola works is by admitting air into a small pneumatic um, master-slave system located at the top, which then opens the, the bellows itself to um, suction. It's the suction that actually drives, pulls the bellows up to drive the key. We're just going to turn on our um. <clears throat> so we're working along here. You can see that it's working. One, two, next one. Now on each one of these, it's a remarkable amount of force applied to that bellows, or applied by the bellows. There's a definite pattern to how this manifold has been drilled, so finding which plug to pull out is nice and easy. Skip two. As you can see, so far, we haven't had any problems with the balance assemblies. Remarkable design.